Hi, this is Matt, and these are my new additions. I got these from Double D's Bugs. These are E. Chopardi, also called Dwarf Hissers. I got three females and one male, and I am going to tell you, this was very scary. I got them in. I got them in late, and I ended up having to go to work. And when I opened the box, they were, looked like they're dead, frozen. Basically, the post office sent it very late. They've been in the, inside the truck all day. I freaked out. I called them up and said, hey, you know, all, everything looks dead to me. And they said, you know, put it under a heat lamp of some sort. Oh, she's going to crawl up my arm now. Let's see. Really nice female. These are very. Back in there. This female is very active. They, you can tell they're still very sluggish. They're still kind of warming up. The male, which is actually a pretty decent sized male, for door. this. You can tell they're male because they have like these. Uh, Tell you, see, you got like the horns. Have them in this nice little kind of setup. Yeah, see, they're kind of a little sluggish still, still warming up. I mean, the, it's like 20 something, like below 20 degrees. Um, so they're still warming up. They're, they're twitching, they're moving around. It'll take them a while. The male's definitely kind of moving around a little more. That, that female definitely is moving around, it's fine. It's interesting, I have not heard them hiss. I think I heard them. A little hiss, but they're not hissing. They're very calm. And this is, to be honest, perfect size roach, in my opinion. Like, these are not super common in the tra in the hobby. Uh, not many people work with them, which is, I'm surprised. They're, look at the color. The, the funny thing is, to me, they look like a darker version of E. Javanica. But... They're skinnier, they're long, they're skinny, they don't have, like, the weight. That male, I mean, the male is pretty decent size, he's got a little girth to him, but the females are definitely, she has, like, that bumblebee marking, and I'm, I'm thinking that maybe these, these are young adults, because the one female is definitely not that big. This female is good size. Oh, she's still latched on this female is uh, fairly small. She's still, oh, still a little comatose. Yeah, I see. I see her feelings move a little bit. Now, this female is very active. This one, not so much. It's going to take her a while. Oh, she's falling down. Definitely need to warm up quite a bit more. I might. Put them back by the heater. And. Uh, see this female. They don't hiss. I mean, maybe they warm up when they get a little used to things. They'll warm up. Hiss a bit. But. This is a female. And we've got these like actually there she is. Right there. I got I'm definitely gonna put these guys by the heater again. Still warm up. Some of these females are still kind of comatose. I oh my god, I freaked out when I saw them. That female's doing really good. The male's doing really good. Put her up there. Should be fine. I already gave him some food. I kind of made a little mix. There's these things called beer bear biscuits, which I found at a local pet store. Pretty decent protein. Got some water crystals. The male was was kind of checking out the food. He's already look. He's already up here. He's kind of showing his dominance. He the males tend to go to like 
the highest point. That's like the hierarchy deal. Um, I see like this one's trying to twitch a little more. That one's definitely fine. I freaked out. I actually bought some... What is it? I bought some Porcellio Scabber Calico species, uh, morph. And they were all frozen. So I... I think what, I'm just going to get a refund back for the Porcellio. And I'm just going to keep these guys. These guys, no one works with the, not a lot of people work with the dwarfs, but I really am surprised. These guys are awesome. They're really colorful. They're not very prickly. They're like, you know, like I heard, I know like a lot of the, oh, she's, she's so nice, she's so friendly. Just checking me out. Yeah. Oh, she definitely, I could tell she's kind of still kind of cold. And put it there. These, uh, I got the egg things I got def with them. They were in a little package with them. And these black things I got from work, they're inserts for, because I work at a grocery store, they're inserts for apple boxes. And you get the apples in the boxes, you get them in these little things. I don't want you to put them down. I don't want to escape. Well, she's not escape, but I don't want to move around too much. Um, pretty simple. Oh, she fell over. Um, definitely probably have to put some here. Is she going to check out the water crystals? Maybe? No? I guess they're not hungry. I'll just leave that in there. Um, I'm hoping to get babies out of the... I, got, I actually only ordered two females and a male, and I got a really decent male. He has some pretty large horns on him. And I would say, well, two very, fairly decent sized females and a small female. I mean, that could technically be a nymph, but, I mean, it has the adult colorings. And can get her, she doesn't have, no, she's so, I don't know, she's so calm for insect. I've actually kind of been interested in insects. I've, these are my first project, and technically it's going to be me and a friend working with them. He's not... He's okay with bugs. He's not like the biggest thing. We had a tarantula. He thought it was the coolest thing ever. Unfortunately, the tarantula did not survive because of the cold weather. Um, really easy setup. I mean, they don't. I found out I screwed up and I had a higher enclosure for them. But see, she is wanting to go everywhere. I can't get her. She doesn't want to hiss. You want to hiss? Nope. Apparently not. They don't want to hiss. But I've heard that these guys. Even though they're dwarfs, they hiss just as loud as the portents, portents, whatever. The normal hissers, Madagascar hissers, Grammarina, Portes, Portosa, whatever it's, however pronounce it. She is just going all over the place. She wants to investigate everything. And the car, the funny thing is, I thought, they might change colors when they get, because the, the adult, the male definitely has what I would say the standard Chopardi colors, which is like this creamy, it's usually a creamy, like that creamy color, but then they have the very contrasting dark head, and I need to actually put the lid on them. Oh, hold on. I don't want to smash my nail. No, don't get out. They just, she wants to go everywhere. I think right now, just because they're in here, and they're in a new closure, they're in a little... Oh, she doesn't want to get off. Come in. Come in. Don't want to make her angry. See, I might have to take some of these out. I might have to flatten these a bit. Can't get out. Nope. It's not that necessarily tall, but it's fairly good size for these guys. I know they don't need really height, they just need mostly uh, floor room. I might get a bigger one. I think I did, was it? I actually only ordered two females and a male. And to be honest, I wasn't even sure if I was going to get adults because uh, double air, double D's didn't. Uh, there's a card, phone number. Really nice. They. Definitely email me back and forth a little bit because I was concerned with the weather. They definitely, the, the winterized package, it wasn't their fault what happened with everything. It was definitely the post office fault. 
I mean, I found out they were they were out for delivery at eight o'clock this morning. So and they didn't get to the residence until probably around five. I think it was around quarter of five. And I brought them in. I checked them out. They looked dead. I wasn't able to really do anything. I had to go to work. So I came back late, around 8 o'clock. Obviously, they, they didn't, I don't know, they were twitching, but I wasn't sure. I was like, I don't know if they're twitching. Is that just me because I'm moving the, the handle? Well, I called them, put them on my heater, and so far they're doing okay. And, um... I'm definitely looking, I would actually, considering these guys are just really cool, I actually would like to work maybe with some more different species of dwarf. There's Etro Parties, probably the most uncommon, one of the uncommon ones. There's this Elliptoron uh, Etro Party, there's Elliptoron Javanica, which is Halloween Hisser, which is becoming more popular in the hobby. More people are starting to carry them because they're not, I don't think they're quite as big as the Protosa, to but... They're pretty nice. They're kind of like, have very orangey, yellow, kind of like these guys. Like, to be honest, these guys look, look similar to the Javanica, but they're definitely smaller than the Javanica. They definitely have the very black, uh, head region, or I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know the root anatomy, but, um, there's Elliptorina, jo uh, the, the Davity. Which is the bumpy hisser, which is similar to this, but they have like, I guess they're kind of like bumps, ridges around their, I don't know, their abdomen. Um, there's, and then there's a lip, the rhina levigata, the I don't know, which is the V horn hisser, but apparently they're very uncommon. I can't remember, actually, there's a website, roachcrossing.com, and I can't think of his name, Kyle. Kyle, I don't know, I don't remember his last name, but Kyle, you can go look on Facebook, he actually now is carrying the, the, the V, they're called V-Horn Hissers, so, they're a little pricey, I think they're like 20, 20 dollars for, around 20 dollars a piece, but I mean, that's kind of cool, I don't see what these guys, I really, these guys tend to be slower breeders, but I'm actually kind of happy, because now I've got three females, so, I, it might double my chances. And I'm a pretty decent sized male, too, so who knows. I know they tend to be a little slow to breed, but they have around 65 babies offspring through Uthicas. So, and I already got two people that are already interested if I can get some babies. So, I'll definitely post it up. I'll have to take a picture or two of these guys. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll definitely have to do some updates eventually. So, uh, that's it. This is my introduction to my E... Uh, Joe Parties, the new dwarf kissers.